Hey hey! The last digit of your like on this video by each who you are from Melon Playground, and the last digit of your subscription to my channel will show your Melon Playground item. So go down right now, subscribe and give me a like. Look at the screen. Notice the last digit of your like and your subscription and write in the comments who you are from Melon Playground. It's simple, if your like is number 8 and the last digit of your subscription is number 5, you're a lemon and a cactus. Show your imagination and enjoy the show. Hi friends, you're on Melon Funk channel. In this video we're going to talk about the Melon Playground 25.5 update that came out on all devices. But before we start the video, I want to say a huge thank you to these guys for being in my video. If you want to be in my next video, there are a few things you need to do. 1. You need to subscribe to my channel. 2. You need to like it. 3. Write your top comment of 4 words or more. And don't forget to watch this video from beginning to end. It's very simple to fulfill all these conditions and have fun watching. So, Dear Friends Update 25.5 is out officially on all devices, including iPhone devices. So if you haven't updated to Update 25.5 yet, I recommend you to do so. So what's new in Update 25.5? First of all, they changed the change log that was in the main menu. Now you can see all the news and all the changes in update 25.5 and let's discuss all the changes in order. First of all, two new seeds were added, which work really just great. These seeds were known about even earlier, but they were not working. The first seed is called Fallout. Now you can add a new seed called Infinite Desert to the Infinite City, which is actually very cool. It works without any problems and I didn't really find any bugs. I am missing a bit of detail, however. The fact that it is already there is also very cool. Overall, it's just an endless desert with hills in the background. Again, the default parallax effect is present, which absolutely all maps have. We also see some dunes and some fog in the background. Well, and of course, this map and this sit do not have any limitations. You can either go into space, or you can endlessly ride around this desert looking for water, for example. A new seat has also been added. Again, it did not work before, however it was known about. This seed adds an interesting new map, infinite some red terrain. Overall, it is very cool that the background stays completely red. However, all items that are on this seed besides this background, they work as normal. That is, they keep their default color. It's also very funny and very interesting. Write in the comments. Maybe you found some Pasahalas secrets about this update or about this seed, and you can get in my next issue about some secret facts and myths about the new update. Also in the new update, a new achievement has been added. It's called To Infinity and Beyond. To fulfill this achievement, you just need to fly the follow buttons into space, and one way or another, you will get this update sooner or later. Honestly, I missed a couple more achievements. It would be great if the developers would do it. Because about the infinite map, you can come up with a lot of achievements and a lot of interesting pass hacks, but we have not seen it yet. Also now added was changing the day and night dynamically. You can customize the change of day and night as you like. Let's say that the day and night changed once an hour. By the way, this is the maximum value. I think it would be great that this value is divided into hours, let's say 24 hours as in the day, and in fact, Melot Playground would repeat the real day and all would be very interesting, but so far it is implemented in this way. In general, you can put a timer, you can cancel in general in principle automatic change of day and night, and in general it works quite interesting. Honestly, I lacked some details, let's say that the moon appears at night or that the sun appears at night, well, this is just an example, but again, maybe I just demand a lot. There are not enough shadows, and in principle you can think of something. But the main idea, and the idea is already put, perhaps the developers will change something in the future. What you think about it, be sure to write in the comments. Rate from 1 to 10 this update, and in principle this innovation. I personally rated an 8 so far, it's just missing some details. Also in the new update, a new limiter has been added. Now when you put any building or item on the map, and if that item is outside of the map, that essentially you're going to have a restriction appear. The item will be highlighted with a red zone if it is outside of the map. This is to limit you from random lags and random bugs. For example, if you're trying to put some new huge building outside the map, very often before you would just crash the game because the objects would start to break. Now the game tries to warn you of this possible outcome, but you can ignore the warning and just simply place whatever objects you want at will. In general, this is very cool and although a minor innovation but really very useful, 
because I personally had such cases when I put a huge object or building on the map, and when I simply did not notice how I put it, then everything just simply flew out, because the building is very much broken. So this is a very useful innovation that saves me to this day. Rate this innovation from 1 to 10 in the comments. I will be very interested to know your opinion. Well, the last innovation in this update is the mod editor change. Although the mod editor has changed slightly, as you may think, but these changes are there and they are quite interesting. First of all, we have a new feature added called Spray. Now you can add absolutely any spraying kind of object, whatever you want to call it. Spraying, so to speak. It could be some kind of flamethrower or maybe a water gun. Now you can change it absolutely however you want. Load your textures, load your effects, load your sound on that spray. Overall, very interesting. Let's say you can make the flamethrower green or just some blue and the flames from the flamethrower will be blue accordingly. Also, you can change not only the color of fire, you can change the color of water or basically it will be an effect that freezes your items. Now you can create, let's say, freezing guns. It's very cool. Also change the hitbox, and when you put in the mod editor, any item now you can not only edit the hitbox's width and height, you have a small slider to the top of the hitbox, with which you can conveniently with you way to drag and drop hitbox restrictions for any item. For me it was very convenient, because every time I created a mod I very often just simply broke the hitbox limits. Now this problem is essentially gone because with the help of a slider I can conveniently move the hitbox as I like. Customized? All in all, this is a very cool and useful innovation for critters. This is where the update and innovation ends. Rate this update from 1 to 10 in the comments. Personally, I would rate this update an 8. It's not all that bad, however, it just lacked a bit of globality for me. Well, that concludes my video. Thank you all for watching. Good luck to everyone. Goodbye and remember, buddy. And as always, see you the other day.